Hannah Powers live in downtown. Hannah. That's right, Sophia. Earlier today, we heard from the Commandant when he delivered that State of the Coast Guard address. But right now, we are on U.S. Coast Guard Cutter James. Now, that's cutter, not ship. It's an old-fashioned term because they could cut through water. And I am with Ensign Nick Woolfolk right now, who works on the ship. How many other people work on this ship? About 120. So that's a huge operation. Yes. And you were telling me that this ship is actually part of some hurricane relief efforts? Yes, we actually uh, deployed for Hurricane Dorian for about a week. And uh, we were out there doing command and control for all the helicopter and uh, other cutters in the area. And I heard during the speech that that effort saved a lot of lives as Yes, well. yes indeed. Wow, so what's exciting is after the address, we got to catch up a little bit with the Commandant, and he said he's planning on adding more ships like this one to the Charleston area. So tonight at 5 and 6, we'll have more of that interview with what the plans are for Charleston as it relates to the U.S. Coast Guard. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Hannah Powers. Count on two.